What's going on guys? Today we are looking at the brand new potential QB1 legend quarterback, Mark Brunel. And yes, you heard me correctly. This card has potential to be QB1 right now, currently in Ultimate Team. 91 speed here on my full 50-50 Jets theme team. Good acceleration, accuracy stats, throw under pressure, throw on the run. It's all super good on Brunel. Six foot one, 215 pounds, 88 juke move, 82 carrying. Not going to be a super mobile guy, but from the pocket, this card is going to be fairly elite. And you're probably wondering, wondering to yourself, I mean, this card doesn't look that special. But according to Mud.GG, Brunel has Slinger 1. We are going to go into practice mode before we hop into the game and kind of test this out. But according to Mud.GG, yes, Brunel, Slinger 1. Yeah, crazy. And also, he does get a 5 AP setup of Set Feet, Hot Route Master, and Fearless. I debated not even running Hot Route Master for today's gameplay, but um, the option's there for you. Uh, or you can go with Dashing Deadeye, which I don't think is worth it, especially if you're going to be paying for it. If it was 0 AP, I mean, why not? But you're paying for it, so it's probably not worth it. And honestly, a 3 AP setup with Slinger 1, with Set Feet, Fearless, and his stats look pretty good to me if you're not going to use Hot Route Master. And for Team Chems, he does get Green Bay, Jacksonville, Commanders, Jets, Legends, and of course, the Saints. So... Let's hop into the gameplay. Let's hop into practice mode and then into the gameplay. But man, I'm excited to see what this card can do. Okay, so I did find this funny, but they did give Mark Brunel a Jerry Sneed's headshot. Uh, but uh, yeah, Mark Brunel is a lefty. So a lefty, our first lefty Slinger 1 quarterback that I can think of we've ever had. And you see how just how pure Slinger 1 is. It's like short to mid, it's like having Gunslinger. It's almost like that. Deep, you could, it, it does feel a little bit clunky sometimes as far as deep releases go. If you use Rodgers, you know what I'm talking about, as you can see with that release right there. Um, but there isn't really like a good release in this year's game. There's not a release that, 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 that that's like a deep release that's far and beyond everyone else's. But mid to short, this card's going to feel super crispy. And you just see just how satisfying that Slinger 1 release is. And I'm pretty sure this is our first ever Slinger 1 left-handed quarterback we've ever seen. Hey, real quick before we hop into the gameplay, I have to remind you to hit that subscribe button. And yes, we did just hit 40k. But now our eyes are set on 50k. So of course, if you are new here, any support is appreciated. Turn on those notifications, hit that subscribe button. Regardless, I do appreciate you watching today's video and let's get right into the Mark Brunel gameplay. Dude, people are are, are slowly discovering that they gave Brunel Slinger 1 and his, his 94 is just skyrocketing. Bro, someone bought this for 200k earlier. I guess people just didn't know, but dude, <laughs> his price is going off the charts. But we're here in the game. We're taking on only verified um let's see if we're on defense or offense to get started we're starting off on offense we're gonna see brunel early here and yeah dude the community's going crazy right now for this card i don't know it's probably a bit of an overreaction but still it's pretty wild it's it's pretty wild that mark brunel really just has slinger one man um it, it is pretty crazy Belor the little okay Belor. Belor does not want Be yo Belor does not want to see brunel on the field man and it's also crazy to me that like on a theme team He's as fast as Steve Young, not on a theme team. And I don't know, was Brunel that mobile? Maybe back in his heyday, maybe. But the Brunel that I kind of remem vaguely remember, like very vaguely remember, um, kind of growing up, didn't I didn't move that much, I, I don't think. I, I was young, really, when he played. I think he retired 2011. He put on the Jets for one year. And, okay, this guy, he's got run deal, clearly. Okay, let's slide that rock, though. Let's slide that rock a little bit. Let's slang the rock a little bit. Um, he's playing, he's blitzing. So we got to get him out of his blitz first. Um, let's try to get him out of the blitz. This guy's got a good team. Very good team. Very good team. All right, we're going to swing this out to the right side. And with a left-handed quarterback, it's going to get out a little bit quicker. And um, we should be able to actually get that there. No problem. Let's lay some lumber. Broken tackle for Keith. Run him over, Keith. Another broken tackle for Keith Byers. And now we're going to actually throw this ball here. Um, let's go. Let's go motion spot here. Motion spot. He's been playing man coverage. I th I feel like he kind of stays in it. We still do actually have um, Randall Cobb on the team right now. We have Hot Route Master as well, so I should definitely at least try to utilize that. But here we go. Hot Route Master, Texas Route Read. He's going to leave. Okay, we should actually have... Oh, Randall Cobb's open. And you see that release right there. Like, that. that that's a little bit... I mean, ah. I guess it's Slinger 1, but you kind of see when you fade to that left side, that was a little bit slow. But thankfully, with Fearless... Like that was that was close. That was close. That was close. Honestly, but it might be faster than other people's slow cross cross field releases, if you know what I mean. Like it definitely could be, but definitely a nice ball right there from Brunel. Um throwing it throwing a strike. I thought for sure we were gonna get some kind of under pressure. Thankfully, 
we did not so let's work on the motion here do the users go in and we should honestly yeah we should get randall cobb open again randall cobb is cooking with that slide automatic on the outside and i think now what we try to do is uh just punch this thing in with brunel like legit i, I think <laughs> i think we go uh shovel option and try to punch it with brunel but the main reason why i just love slinger one so much is just because it looks so satisfying it it's got to be the most satisfying release and i'm oh i thought maybe i had a chance Maybe I should have went with the flick inside there. We can, we can try read option. The only problem with running with the quarterback in this formation is those linebackers blitz off the edge. So I'm not, I'm not I don't really like it too much. But let's try it. We're going to have to run up the middle here with Keith. Oh, man. Okay. This is going to be tough to score, I think. We, we can try the swing pass, though. We can try a little swing. But yeah, this, this blitz is just annoying for like a QB run scheme, really. Because those linebackers, they really, they really get out there. I'll tell you that. Get ahead and get it out there, Mark. Can we punch this? Oh, I shouldn't maybe. Oh my goodness. This guy's getting outside with it, bro. Fourth and goal. What do we do? All right, we're going to throw this. We're going to go, um, we'll go wing slot off. No, wait. Yeah, this is the formation. Wing slot offset. We're going to go double pivot here. Um, we're going to try to get the zig open. And we have a hard on master quarterback, so we could actually flop a Texas route out here, which is another bit of a threat here out of the backfield. So let's give this a try and we should get tony g open low pass lead and he does catch it for a touchdown beautiful all right decent drive right there for brunel made some nice throws randall cobb obviously helped out a lot there but um you, you love to see it you, you definitely love to see it okay we have who would i rather mark brunel edition and i do record this segment after i finished the whole gameplay so i have a pretty good feel on the card and uh brunel I, all i'm gonna say is if you are a hot route master guy I do think he is right now QB1. This setup for 5 AP is too tough. And honestly, even if you're not, having fearless set feet for 3 AP is still a good setup. It's still a good setup. Um, his price is a little bit crazy for that 3 AP setup, but he's still obviously a really good card. And like I said, if you're a high round master guy, I think he's number one. Um, Steve Young and Brunel are honestly closer than what you might think. I, 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 I like Steve Young's release. I, I really do. I, I like Steve Young's release a lot. And, and he does get Gunslinger, so it does kind of make it a little bit closer to what slinger one is and I, I like the steve young card i really do um and if you don't have a theme team also for brunel and you and you want to run like more, more of a mobile Q, qb scheme um steve young also has that better speed um it's kind of tough to compare him to like denard robinson but he's definitely better than denard robinson i think he's better than elway just based off of speed alone i think he's better than elway for that reason um if we just base yeah i'm just gonna say yeah i think he's better than cam um, I think he's better than Brady just because of the stats as well. Releases are very close, but I think he's better because of the stats. Um, if you want to get real mobile, I still think Randall's kind of the king for that because he gets really good passing abilities, but also has really good running stats. So there's Randall. I think um, it's pretty close between the two. It really is. But if you want to run Hot Round Master, you have to go with Brunel. I'm going to go Brunel over Bledsoe, Brunel over Patty, Brunel over Baker, Brunel over Brunel, Brunel over <laughs> to uh, Brunel over Vic. Um, yeah, I think if you're a Hot Round Master guy, Brunel is qb1 right now in the game man he's uh he's the real deal right, here we go we're gonna try to get one more game maybe maybe a drive or two here with brunel i want to try to get this video video out for you guys um but uh you know just keep slinging that rock i think i want to we kind of got to take a shot here i feel like we haven't really gone downfield i mean we've thrown a corner out you've kind of seen that like deepish release i guess you know but um yeah we're gonna try to either throw the post here usually i would try to set this up this guy's got a really good team i mean every player on the field has a star underneath their name so he's got a pretty solid looking squad and let's play around with the hot round master a little texas route on the back side here we go and i think we should actually have this open over the top and keith oh my I, I don't know why i said keith but brunel just went crazy i just get used to screaming keith for some reason after having keith Byers on the team it's kind of become second nature and you see fading back with fearless man and that's just a straight up laser from brunel straight up laser i don't know what i want to do here i think i'm gonna to go to the swing pass here he's running man coverage let's see what the user does he's on sap going and swing that thing outside there's keith little cut from keith ah okay 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 i've been trying to get too cute with 360 cuts man I, I i i'll hold myself accountable i've been trying to get a little too cute but we really haven't shut off mark's legs yet the release we've kind of seen you know he looks good he feels good in the pocket Let's try the little read. Let's try a little keeper here. Yeah, there we go. Come in. Y'all for y'all forget Brunel's got legs. Ah! That was crazy. That, I'm not, that was crazy. I'm not gonna lie, that was crazy. I don't know why I did that. I don't know what something just took over. I don't know why I did that. I don't know why I did that. But you gotta remember, Brunel can move. 
I was going all in for the touchdown there. I can't lie to you. I was going all in for the touchdown. All right, come on, Mark. Punch this thing in, Mark. Flick it. Flick it, Mark. What does he got? He's got Picard is Sherman. He's a big body. But we should still be able to... Wait, I got to run this different. Reset. Streak this. Texas Rad LT. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay, let's see what, he, let's see what he's doing here. Bring down the user again. And... Okay, there we go. It lit up. There we go. Mark Brunel. There we go. Up the sideline. There we go. Randall Cobb. Down the sideline. Randall Cobb. There we go. Nice game right there for Randall Cobb, man. And I'm loving just how attracted this guy still is to the swing pass. I mean, it's been, it was killing him until we started getting cute with the run game. I mean, this guy truly didn't have an answer for us until the run game. Cut that in. Oh, hello, Thomas Davis. Thomas Davis always, he's the only guy that catches me like that, man. I swear. Just pans down, just on a cutback. Just hook. Here we go. I'm scheming up another nice corner route here to Randall Cobb. Scheming up another corner route. Texas. Bang. There we go. Okay, let's flop a nice little post on that backside, though. And let's see what read we can make here. And we should have Ladanian Tomlinson out of the backfield. Let's get underneath that. Okay, he does win the tackle battle. No, I don't run that back. Run that back one more time. Actually, I'm gonna go to I'm gonna go to the actual swing here. I feel like he won't be too committed on it this time. Why? Well, I, I lost him. I lost him. That's why you gotta have identifier. Cause I, I literally lost him on that play. I thought he I thought he was on a corner. You have to like on in this offense. You kind of gotta find the you gotta find who's using. Usually people just use their little linebackers, but. Um, if I didn't have a Jets team, I probably would have Creed Humphrey right now. Uh, for obvious reasons. Zero IP identifier is very good. But, yeah, you I thought he was going to be on the corner on the outside. I was like, damn, do I need to run this? But we made the late read. We're going to have LT again. Skip. Okay. I'm, I feel, feel like I'm going to fumble. Like, we already did fumble, but I feel like I'm going to fumble again. Brunel, though, with a clean 7 for 7. Um, which usually, I, I mean, if someone's just running either man or I kind of know what you're in, usually this is what happens. Usually I could just kind of sit back and see right there he was on Sherman run, easy around the middle he's easy around the middle but here we go we may have to go back to that red zone play we ran earlier on the touchdown to uh Tony G we may have to run that back here we go um we're kind of running out of time here but let's flop this on the back side here let's see if we could get Tony G oh, oh it's a very tight window very tight window but Brunel with that quick release gets it there and Seth he gets it there very very quickly I'm gonna go read option here I'm gonna go read option if he, if the R goes in, he, he didn't. Oh boy, Bruno's gonna have to fight. Bruno, oh my God, Mark Bruno. I'm so sorry, dude. Like I'm beating this man up, bro. I'm beating this man up. Bruno thought he was here to be a pocket passer. Now we don't run a pocket passer scheme. We tote the rock where I'm from. Bruno, Bruno finds the end zone. Marcus Bruno finds the end zone in just beautiful fashion. This makes me so happy, man. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I don't know what this play is. I don't think I've ever run it before either. Into the flat? Get me my two points? Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Well, I'm going to head out of here. Boys, hey, I know it was kind of a shorter gameplay, but I want to get this one out for you guys. Um, have a good one, and I will see you boys in the next one.